We're giving you guys a free Bunch X Nasty little scheme here on the channel. Um, guys, this is kind of something I just wanted to do for you guys for fun. I was going to make an ebook on this in the Patreon, but we're going to give this away completely free. A lot of people are interested in this formation. I personally have never really touched it, so we're going to teach you how to build a scheme uh, completely from scratch here. And uh, if you guys want some of our more in-depth stuff, more full scheme stuff, join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks. You get access to everything by being a member. All the offensive ebooks, defensive ebooks, all the updates, everything is in there. Uh, but I did want to do some content on the Bunch X Nasty because it has been in the game, I think for three, I think I think it was like late Madden 21 or early Madden 22 that this formation came into the game. Really, really cool formation. And, and it's kind of like, I'm surprised that they call it Bunch X Nasty. Like, I don't know why they wouldn't just call it like Bunch Close, single back Bunch Close or, or, or whatever, Bunch Cluster, whatever. But it's fine. Um, it is what it is. So let's get on the field. And I want to talk to you guys about uh, how to find a power play. So what you want to do is you want to look for like like key power routes. So a deep crosser, deep corner, a post route, deep post route, for example. So um, let's take, for example, this play PA boot slide. There's a couple things that this play has in it that makes it very valuable. Number one, it's got play action blocking. Play action blocking in Madden is the best blocking that you can get for the mo all of the meta uh, pass uh, blitzes. It also has this kind of one of the best routes of, in Madden this year, actually two of the best routes, this little crosser. And then it also has this kind of like unique post route where it cuts out first and then comes inside. And then it has a C route. Um, that's not, you know, we're gonna wanna, you can run the C route, honestly, from compression, C routes are really good this year, uh, especially against man coverage. But let's get on the field, I'll talk through it. So couple things real quick. Um, so again, we see here we have this crosser. Um, and we can just run the play and take a sack. I like to run it against man just to kind of see like how the routes do. And as you can see, like right there, so we'll go into replay and we just wanna identify like what routes actually get really good separation against man. So, cause you wanna ideally when you're building a scheme, you foundationally have to have a plan for beating man coverage. You have to, you have to have routes in your field that beat man coverage. Otherwise it's way too easy to play defense against you. So if you take a look here, you see a couple things. So you'll see this crosser does get inside separation. You'll also notice though that this post route over here is probably the best route. You see how it cuts inside there. I can inside pass like that and, and pretty regularly uh, get that open. This actually is probably kind of open if I freeform over in that area. So you really have three routes that are gonna be pretty good. So now what I like to do is I like to throw them. So like, for example, I just wanna throw them, just see how they do. So like right there, okay, that I can catch that. Um, I've got pretty standard abilities in my corners, KOs, uh, all that stuff. So, you know, they're, they're gonna hold up against kind of meta corners. Slot crosser, I just wanna see how that does. Okay, that beats man. ACI, I'm just kind of like, okay, mentally, what are the routes on the field that beat man? And then also like, how do I throw them and how and what timing do I throw them? Now, here's another thing that's really, really important when you're making your own scheme. You can run the same play and accomplish, number one, try to accomplish different things. And you can run the same play in different ways. Let me explain. So how, would, how could we run this play in different ways? Well, one of the ways that we could run this play is we could simply take the tight end, um, which in this case, we also want to check hot routes. So notice that the tight end, we can't block him. So it's just like bunch. You can't block the tight end a bunch. You can't block the tight end in this formation. But what we can do is we can put the tight end on a slant and then we can just motion uh, him across and snap just like that. And now we have a slant post concept that can beat man coverage. That's an example, okay? Now, we could also, in the same breath, we could drag the tight end, slant the outside receiver, streak um, this, this uh, Carmichael, and we can run the slant crosser or the drag crosser slant concept, which is Bunch's version of the Y cross concept. So, and you can also, if you have Hot Route Master, you could run this just like this and basically call the play for the play action blocking. So as you see right here, so those are, th I literally just uh, rattled off three plays and one, I'm gonna give you one more. Um, this is the, where we streak the slot receiver. And then uh, again, I like to, I like to, to slant the tight end, but you could just easily, just as easily put him on an in route. And now we're running kind of a, a more of a, a high low in the middle of the field, but you, you see the idea.
Okay, so those are several different ways that we can run this one play. But what we need to also identify is what is the best way to run this play um, as far as from a base play perspective. This is truly going to be our base play. How should we run the play? Well, another thing that you want to test is like a, a great example would be like mesh post and bunch. This is very similar to that play um, or double post. So what we could maybe try here is we could go with a slant route to Carmichael, um, an out route and a streak, something like this. Okay, so we go to that. And what you see here is this is actually gonna give us some pretty good results uh, in terms of its ability to beat man coverage. It's very similar to the idea of pinning the user in the middle of the field. So let's jump into replay here and kind of walk through some things. We wanna test the slant. How does the slant do? You see here, it does pretty good, honestly. And if you pair this with the out route, guess what? The hard flat gets held by the out route, and then I'm able to throw this. I could have thrown the slant over in this area. So if they're playing man coverage, they now have to make a choice, and they'll probably choose the slant. So if they choose the slant, then I've got this guy coming back underneath, and then that streak will clear out that outside third or that middle third. And so I can then throw the ball basically in the middle of the field. So now we've taken a man beater, we've got some zone beating principles within it, and now let's take it to zone. So um, for example, like cover three zone. How is this gonna fare if someone comes out and maybe a man look, but they end up going zone? You gotta kind of walk through all that. So like right here, you're gonna see, okay, here's cover three zone, and it actually does really good. That streak is gonna clear out that zone, and I can throw that post route in a really soft spot um, against the coverage. Now, something else you also wanna test, and again, there's a lot of things that you can, all, you, you can pretty much test as much as you want, to be honest, um, but, you know, something you might want to test here would be, you know, how is this play going to do against a max coverage, cover three, and really more specifically, how does this going to, like, do I have big play potential? So you look at this third here, and you see once he crosses the face of that post, eh, it's not really there. So now I know, okay, I've got to throw that early. I can't throw that late in the play. Those are all critical things to kind of identify. Um, then you also do want to like just kind of spot check match. Just make sure that the play is quasi decent against match. It doesn't have to be a bomb, but it does have to be like effective. And what we actually notice here is this has some big play potential against match. As you see that we're able to isolate that safety. Another thing that's really popular, a lot of people like to do it, especially if they're in a match, they'll put a deep half over on the right side defender, the safety. So if they do that, then we kind of walk through this again. You see he out leverages him and he's able to potentially be a one play score against match. So it checks the man bucket, it checks the zone bucket, it checks the match bucket. And then the last thing that you do want to test is how is this going to do against like a DB fire to covered shell? So maybe something like this right here with the user in the middle of the field, maybe doing like a hook curl type thing and sending five. Okay, you do have play action blocking. Again, play action blocking is really good. Uh, so how's this gonna play against something like that? We look at this real quick. Now I know I'm getting shedded up the A gap, but I notice, okay, well, if they have a, a vert hook over there, that makes that a tougher throw. I'm gonna have to either, you know, I'm gonna maybe have to check down to the out route. Let's say, let's just assume they go with this guy. This is pretty good coverage, honestly, for this a play like this, if they do go user that guy. So that's where, obviously, you're not, you're not gonna solve every problem in one play, but if I look at this real quick, I can throw that out route, as you can see right there. I can easily just, I, so now I just know, okay, if I see DB Fire 2 and they're in a traditional DB Fire 2 cover shell, then I wanna do something like that, which is gonna then make them go to something like this, and now when they go to something like this and they have to go user uh, the circle receiver on that deep post route, the beauty of this becomes they have to go user him and now that takes them out of the middle of the field and there's no vertical hook defender. So that's the beauty of kind of walking through the if this then that game and you wanna do that for every route. How can I throw every route against every defense? What does the defense take away? And we know that really the best way to defend this, honestly, is to probably send five out of a cover two shell and then do something like this, maybe even something like this. What this does is now they're in a ton of trouble if I throw a flat route to the left side. So a potential alternate setup might be something like this, where we actually leave that tight end flat and we have that high low between that flat and that crosser. 
So this is just episode one of Bunch X Nasty, but a really nice little base uh, base play here out of this PA play. I think it's, I don't know what it's called. I, I don't even know what it's called, PA slide. Um, but a really, really good play. Let me make sure, what is it called here? Yeah, PA boot slide, one of the best plays probably in the formation for beating man coverage. So that's how I would run the base play because slant post is the best concept in the game. You want to have slant post in your arsenal and then you kind of want to lay the bricks of the foundation. So slant post, uh, deep flooding play, verticals type concept, uh, stick triangle read type concept, white cross concept. Those are kind of five foundations. And then you can layer some money plays on top of that that are able to take advantage of very specific defenses that your opponent might run. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to check out some of our full eBooks, uh, join the Patreon. It's only $10. You get everything for just 10 bucks by becoming a member. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.